In the year 2010, Mozilla Research officially released the Rust programming language. The development of the language had however began four years earlier by Graydon Hoare. Mozilla had began sponsoring the project in 2009. After many iterations, a stable version 1 was released in May 15, 2015. The development team comprised the Rust team at Mozilla and an open source community of over 900 contributors. Rust is a systems language based on concise solid principles. It equals C and C++ in its overall capabilities, even though those languages have existed for close to 50 years. Its biggest selling point is safety, speed and concurrency. These features are difficult to find in any single language, and this lifts Rust above a multitude of programming languages. Rust does not try to incorporate revolutionary programming features, rather it builds upon proven techniques that have been used for decades in languages like C++. For example, like C++, it supports imperative, functional and object-oriented paradigms. It is statically typed, however unlike Java, but like C Sharp, it supports type inference. While it can match idiomatic C++ in performance, Rust is much safer. It does this by forbidding the user of code that can cause program crashes due to memory problems. Furthermore, Rust has a built-in support for concurrency on multi-core machines. With Rust Cocker MC is much safer. Rust is the only language that is capable of this without garbage collection. Rust also eliminates the corruption of shared data through concurrent access, which is also known as data races. Mozilla, the official creator of Rust, is a company known for its drive on the evolution of the web based on open standards. It is the creator of Firefox, one of the most popular browsers in the planet. Almost every browser out there, including Firefox and Chrome, are written in C++. Firefox has approximately some 12.9 million lines of code, while Chrome stands at 4.5 million. C++ is a fast language, and that's why many complex softwares are written on it. However, it is inherently unsafe. This is because in C and C++, memory manipulations are not checked for validity. If the code is written without the utmost programming discipline on the part of the developers, then program crashes, memory leaks, segmentation faults, buffer overflows, and null pointers can occur at program execution. This is a big reason why modern browsers have before been found with some serious security vulnerabilities. Safer languages typically tend to have either performance problems or very little control of memory allocations. Rust is designed to avoid these kind of problems, while maintaining the performance you expect from a native language. Rust overcomes these problems in two main ways. 1. Providing safety through strong type system. Variables in Rust are also immutable. 2. C and C++ level control over low-level system resources. It runs close to the hardware like those languages, but does it safely. For a long time, a lot of developers believed that you could not have both safety and low-level control in one package. But Rust has broken this dichotomy. It does this by allowing you to specify exactly how your values should be laid out in memory, and how that memory should be managed. Unlike most modern languages like Java, C Sharp, Python and Go, Rust is able to achieve safety, but without a garbage collector. It is a compiled language. The compiler enforces the safety rules so that there is not overhead at runtime. Languages like Go and Julia are also able to compile to native code, however they still have a runtime overhead due to the GC, the garbage collector. This results in performance level of C and C++, making Rust eligible in real-time and embedded systems. It can even be integrated into other languages. The Rust compiler, known as Rust C, is able to detect a lot of problems that developers are used to experiencing in C and C++. Problems like dangling pointers, buffer overflows, null pointers, segmentation faults, data races, and so on. The Rust compiler retains complete control over memory layout, however, as we said earlier, without runtime burden of a garbage collector. The Rust compiler is self-hosted, meaning it's written in Rust and therefore doesn't need outside languages. The compiler uses a previous version of Rust. It uses LLVM compiler framework as its backend to produce native code as fast as that produced by C++. Rust adopts the actor model from Erlang as one of ways to achieve concurrency. Lightweight processes called threads perform work in parallel. They do not share heap memory, but communicate data through channels, and data races are eliminated by the type system. Thus programmers are able to leverage the ever-increasing number of cores in modern computing devices. Rust is portable and runs on a multitude of hardware and software platforms like Linux, Windows, Mac OS X, Freeps and iOS. It can call C code easily and vice versa. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Also click the bell icon so that you are notified of our future content. Have a good day.